How do you design a business to be ahead of everyone? How do you design yourself to be a legend in your business? Today on the 11th hour breakthrough conversation, Izam and I are discussing about the journey to become a legend in your industry, in your country or the world. It's not enough just to become known in your field, but what does it take for your life's work to have meaning outside of your own backyard, to transcend, to become a legend? How can a business aspire to have a legacy, building it strong enough for your generations to take over? Hi, I'm Terence. I'm an international business coach and a trainer. I lead business organization throughout Southeast Asia and work with an organization called Money and You to uplift business consciousness. Joining me today is Mr. Izam Yusuf, a former CEO, now turned business strategist with more than 30 years of experience working with numerous entities to transform their business. Welcome to the 11th hour Money and You Breakthrough Conversations. So if any questions you have, please ask and, and comment below so that we can actually help answer your questions or uh, do a talk uh, to actually address a conversation if it's a big conversation, okay? Like examples of legends like Disney and Apple and Levi's and all these big companies that last many, 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 many years. So Izam, what do you think is the secret or process for an entrepreneur to go through to become a legend? Wow, thanks, Terence. Uh, it's a big topic, you know. Sometimes what we know, legend. When there's two parts of legend, one where you're not around, people think you're a legend. Second is a living legend. So how we start building it up? I, I think uh, uh, it's about getting good what you're good at and uh, keeping adding value, and people talk about it. That's the starting point of uh, building up and becoming a legend and getting good at it. So that that's why I think. Uh, and you know, people will look for you and start um, being memorable in terms of how you impact uh, your customer, your industry. So that, that's a good start. Start thinking on how to design uh, or thinking about the secret of becoming a legend in your business, in your industry. Okay, good. Thanks. When you say you're good at it, well, well, how good do I need to be to become, like you say, memorable? How good do I need to be? What, what's the definition of a good thing? Well, it can go uh, goes many ways. But what one thing is clear is when let's say you're good at it, you really define what the customer need and you keep on addressing the need and you keep on inventing, innovating and start uh, making things simpler, making them have more clarity for your client. And it's really impactful. Sometimes the design can be small. It doesn't have to be really rocket science. And people see... It's useful, you know. We take for granted things that we are using today, like the rice cooker, for example, or the fan. Or mm. even you look at Dyson, Dyson on how introducing the fan is completely a new way of design. So, or even you look how position Toyota position Lexus from Camry, Toyota Camry. So, so these are the things that once you have the legend mindset, you can you can start seeing the gap in the market, fulfilling it, and making making it interesting and. Uh, uh, attracting the customer and making them love it. So that's that's most important. You got it. So like, my, my question would be now, how can a regular entrepreneur or, or employee like me, myself here, how can I take steps forward to become like a Toyota? It's like I'm selling, let's say, for example, cakes or like uh, maybe clothes or whatever. So like, what are the steps needed to take to like, you know, to become like the legend of the industry. Like you say, okay. yes. Okay. Um, for example, let's take a cake, right? Simple. Mm -hmm. Everybody eat cakes. Now, mm -hmm. you, uh, there are preference of how you eat cake. Let's say a fruit cake. Mm -hmm. A fruit cake, whether how moist it's going to be, whether the fruits are stacked, lay, when once you bake it, it's like, uh, it's all over the place. Instead of just on the, on the, on the ground, on the ground, on the base of the, uh, the dough. As, as you're building it up, and then how much honey you're going to put in, and then uh, you, there are a lot of distinction you can talk about making a cake, and then the mixture about fruits and nuts in it, or it's just, just fruits, and then the coloring, whether you want to make it more cherry or something. So, so it, it depends. Oh, and and I'm, I'm sure the experience of customer will call you to do more. 
And then um, these are the things uh, in an example when people start talking about it and there are referrals, people want it more. And I'm sure if, when we talk about it, there's one uh, uncle that's selling, uh, I think, duck in SS2. You mm. know, it makes people queue and queue and queue and not, not knowing when will the stock finish. So it's a, it's a legend in, in the making. It's just a simple uncle selling uh, duck rice uh, in SS2. And then people are queuing. Uh, his formula is, you would never know when it's finished, when it's finished. He will never tell you that there's one left or two left. You can never know. You just have to queue and keep queuing. If your time comes, it's finished. It means it's finished. So he created a distinction about his story, about that's how he operates. So uh, if, even I think when he's gone, people will remember that place that, you know, I queue, you know, um, it's gone. When I queue, I got it. So you will never know. So that, that's as simple as a layman thinking about becoming a legend in, in the business that you're in. It doesn't have to be the Toyota per se. It could be a simple nasi lemak stall. It can be a simple thing. Or, or in Klana Jaya, we keep on talking nasi lemak cikgu. He started with a cikgu selling nasi lemak. He's a legend mm -hmm. and you can't really find him anymore. Or, or Lemang Pak Ali in, in, uh, in Ulu Langat, or, you know, where, where he has this one station in Ulu Langat, uh, Ulu Klang Road. So there's many conversations. I'm sure everybody, customer, you can type in. There are some people who are in the business, you, you think they are a legend. So it's not about you declaring you're a legend, a legend. It's about a customer keep on talking about you. I'm sure we have a lot of this example. And the thing is, as being a business owner, how do you design your thinking to start building a business to that level? So it's not just about profitability. It's just not about mm -hmm. getting good at what you're good at. And mm -hmm. it's not about serving your immediate customer and having their mindset, how to make it memorable and people will keep on thinking about you. And it's a bit uh, long, longish kind of period uh, thinking, Terrence. That's what I, I think. Wow. So, yes, the, I can relate to food that, yes, it, it is memorable. People think about the food because there's this taste that we want to experience again and again. But for other regular businesses, how do we make it more memorable? Like, a, it's like, like you say, people wants to do that, but what's the memorable thing that, like, that one key to make the business more memorable? Well, the thing that I can think of hand now and uh, how I design most of the transformation that I look at uh, is about having a conversation of a becoming. There's no destination. You mm -hmm. always want to become something. You know, when you talk about phones, there's always the version, next version, plus one version, plus one version mm -hmm. as we grow on. So the thinking is about making it better and good, simple, clarity, using technology or whatever that you have. It just the design of the business, you make, you make your client feel at ease in using your product. So, so it's a simple form is that about you having a conversation about becoming something. You know, it's always a becoming instead of you already reached a destination. So there's always a new version of you. As you go through building your business, you have new ideas, you have new things. So the thing is not just about you and your production of your product. It's about the customer experience. So um, as the audience are listening or if you're here with us, just type what you experience in terms of being a legend. You know, if you're running a business, what do you feel of becoming a legend in your industry or how you can become a legend? And if you can remember any of the businesses that you engage with or you are as a customer, that you think they are a legend. So just type it in or just give it a shout you know i'm sure there are many examples and and sometimes becoming a legend it doesn't have to be a, like a rock star it's just that in a small community in a state in a country or in, in the region it can be the world it can be any area now start thinking on how you can behave or building a business in becoming a legend so that will take you a bit more far stretch rather than making thinking about profit per se you got it Karen. what Thank you. It's like, so you actually define what you call the playing field of uh, like legend. It's like, okay, in your kampong to uh, maybe the city or the district to the state. So it can be legend in the whole taman or something like that. Yeah, so, yeah. so that's actually a really good uh, box to start to, for people to think about. So for the audience looking on today, what, what things are, is memorable for you that you can remember in other business and can you duplicate that in your business you can also write that down in the comments below so i have one last question it's like people or some people that wants to build business what normally derails them from becoming a legend what is the normal thing that usually move them away from that 
Um, I think it's focus. It's focus mm-hmm. is the only thing that I can think of. Uh, the moment you get distracted in terms of you uh, looking into operation, you think about growing your business, you look into the bottom line, and then uh, you know you lose the real essence of the purpose you are in business. So once uh, you are thinking about becoming a legend, so your focus got to be clear in terms of how you design your business and building it. So that 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 can encompass in a lot of things. Again, in our like our previous um, engagement, the key thing is what meaningful result you want to achieve mm-hmm. and what how can you be efficient and effective from customer point of view as well. So these are the things that uh, possibly one thing uh, to to wrap up the session, you might, you might say. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Cool. Th- that's really, really good feedback uh, on our side on focus. It's like, if you look at like, I can only, let's, let's take food for example, since we talk about food today. The, the really good food doesn't use technology. The same uncle is cooking one plate of chakwitya at a time. There's no technology involved. There's no fancy, fancy stuff. And they're still been doing the, the, the same thing for 30 years, the same style, the same thing. Compared to some people, it's like, you know, being distracted with the next new shiny object of like, we can add this to your business. We can do this to your business. So, so being focused is like kind of like very, very important to become a legend, like I said, right? Yeah, that is true. It depends uh, on the two examples that you gave, whether it's the uncle with the chakotiao or someone diversifying their business. It's okay as long as you're coming back to what's your purpose. So once you know your purpose, who are the customer that you're serving, and then you design the business in such a way that to fulfill the, 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 end, the end result, and also you know your purpose, in the, why you exist in the first place, I think that will keep you on track in terms of focus. So it can be many, many angles. So the uncle is one example or diversifying your business, growing it to a certain size, another okay. example. So you can be in any angle. The only thing is uh, your fo- whether you're focused into where you want to go, becoming mm-hmm. something, mm-hmm. and then also what's your purpose in existence in building that business. So that's, these are the things that uh, can relate to this conversation today about focus. Got it. So it's like either focus to be very niche or focus to be very dice. It works too. Yeah, it's all mastery. It's all about mastery. So you, niche can mean one product. Niche can be a certain type of behavior, how you fulfill clients' needs. So mm-hmm. niche can be a, a lot of angle that you depends on how you want to view it. So the essence of it is about start becoming a legend rather than operating your business for profitability. So that, that's a good conversation for today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Isam and I is, is, is going to run a two-hour Master Business Builder program on 18th July, 2.30 p.m. We are looking for a small group of business leaders that is willing to join us in an intermediate, intermediate coaching session. Please click on the link below to register. Or like if these conversations help you or you think your friend can relate to this conversation, please share with your friend. We'll help you in discovering new realities, dissecting what works and what doesn't work in a business, reinforcing your business by making more stable and more sustainable through this crisis, and improve your performance. That's what you want to do with you for the next uh, during the two hours. So I see you in the next 11-hour breakthrough conversation. Thank you. Thank you.